Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and very warm welcome to Dr. Saqib Khan Science Academy. Today we will learn about extension coefficient. Before this, we determine the optical density using UV visible spectrophotometer data. In the same data, we will use to determine the extension coefficient. First of all, what is extension coefficient? Extension coefficient is also known as molar absorptivity or molar extension coefficient. It is basically the characteristics that determine that how a substance, how strongly a substance or a species, it absorbs light at a particular wavelength. It absorbs or it reflects radiation of light at a particular wavelength. So this is our extension coefficient. To measure the extension coefficient, we have the equation k is equal to alpha into lambda divided by 4 pi, where k is our extension coefficient or molar coefficient while alpha is the absorption coefficient, lambda is the wavelength, and the value of pi, we know that it is 3.141. So using this formula, we'll measure the extension coefficient. Then to measure the alpha, as I already discussed in my previous lecture, use, while measuring the optical density, alpha is the absorption coefficient. You can watch the optical density measurement in this video. And to determine the absorption coefficient, the following equation will be used. Alpha is equal to 2.303 into A. A is the absorbance divided by L. L is the path length of the sample or thickness of our cuvette. This is usually in centimeter. As we know, the extension coefficient is the measure of absorption of light at a particular wavelength. So higher the extension coefficient, it means that substance is more efficient at absorbing light at that particular wavelength. Let's go to our data and see how to measure the absorption coefficient. So we have wavelength and then absorbance data of our compound. In this case, we used RB5 dye, reactive black 5 dye and take its absorption. So first of all, we will measure alpha or absorption coefficient. We know the formula of absorption coefficient is alpha is equal to 2.303 multiplied by A divided by L. Our length of cuvette is 1 centimeter. A is given absorbance at different wavelengths. So let's measure the alpha. Alpha is equal to 2.303 multiplied by absorbance divided by 1 or the thickness in 1 centimeter. So this is our absorption coefficient or alpha value. The pi value we already know 3.1141 alpha into lambda. We will calculate the alpha absorption coefficient multiplied by lambda which is our wavelength. This is alpha into lambda. So we'll measure alpha into lambda for different wavelengths. Then our formula is k is equal to alpha into lambda divided by 4 pi. Alpha into lambda we have this value divided by 4 multiplied by the value of pi 3.141. We log this value. To use it throughout the formula. This is our k value. So now we will plot the k versus wavelength Now we will plot these values, the wavelength versus k value. Let's go to the line graph. Now we will plot these values in a line plot. This is our line graph. You can increase these values. You can also increase the size of this. It depends upon you what type of data you want. This is our k value, this is our wavelength value. And from here you can see that lambda max is at 602. At wavelength of 602, we have 
highest extension coefficient. So this is how to measure the extension coefficient using UV visible data. Hopefully, now you understand how to measure the extension coefficient of your sample. Thank you very much. If you gain some knowledge from here, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.